isolate the variable from the formula. In order to do this, we need to take everything that's not this variable, b, and move it to the other side of the equal sign, including this exponent here, so that b is completely isolated. Before we begin, let's see if we can eliminate any answer choices. Uh, any answer choices that have the variable we're trying to solve for, b, in them would automatically be incorrect, but none of our answer choices have b. The only other thing we could use to eliminate answer choices is this exponent right here. Because b has an exponent on it, we know we need to do the opposite to it eventually and put a radical. So our answer has to have a radical in it, leaving us to eliminate answer choice a and b. Now we can begin to solve c squared equals a squared plus b squared. If we're trying to isolate b, let's get rid of everything that's not b, starting with a. a is being added to b, and the opposite operation for addition is subtraction. So let's subtract a squared from both sides. a squared and a squared will cancel, leaving us with c minus a squared, excuse me, c squared minus a squared equals b squared. Now, before we continue, we can see that c has to be the correct answer because of the order of these two, right? c minus a, not a minus c, c squared minus a squared. So that would be enough for you to mark c as your correct answer and move on with the rest of the test. But for the sake of the video, I will continue to solve. The last step to isolating b is to get rid of this exponent. The opposite of an exponent is a radical to the root of 2 in this case, since we have an exponent of 2. And whatever we do to one side of the equal sign, we always have to do to the other. So these uh, radicals and exponents will cancel, leaving us with the square root of c squared minus a squared equals b, making c our correct answer.